Hello, and welcome back. In Unit 5, you were to take and work as a group on finding three answers. Again, you were given the three discussion board questions. You were given time as a group in the discussion boards. You were allowed to work with a group and get your work done as a group here, your template, with the guiding questions already there. And of course, you had a spot for your learning blog post. In this section, I'm going to talk about your learning blog for Unit 5. Okay, in Unit 5, I set you up with a simple Google Doc template that will help you kind of walk your way through um, how to actually answer a questions or think about processing it. I have seen a few people that actually have opened this up and responded to just the questions, leaving the questions in it, or I've seen people just rewriting the whole thing with their answers and not the questions. Either way, you do not need to be that formative on a Google Doc, just transfer your facts. So with this doc here, I kind of laid it up saying, you know, Gave you this said we had three paragraphs from for our test in Google Docs and if you want to you just copy from your test and paste it here because it explains what you have learned in this unit how you learned it well this unit I had recorded the lecture so you can listen to it instead of me standing up in front and speaking the lecture for each class period did you like it? Yes or no? And why? Of course, complete sentences. Something else, we worked in small groups where we had a computer for somebody to record for each group member what was important details from the reading. What did you feel about that? Of course, here's this one about the three questions I give you. The three open note questions. And I asked you if you would like the essay versions of your test or do you prefer the multiple choice options and of course why and anything else you might want to mention about learning about CADA. Um, the processing, maybe you didn't work well with your partners or they would, didn't, they deleted your work so it made you very frustrated, things like that. Now to find out what was interesting you would just take a look and say was there anything interesting in Canada's history is there anything fun or curious I want to follow up on and of course here at the bottom it talks about in the blog because this is your final published work if you want to find pictures you can include pictures at this time you can put your work samples in it like you should do for your blogs that could be simply your Unit 5 rough draft thinking um, brainstorming pages, your KWL chart from the Unit 5, your three questions responses, uh, maybe the rough draft. I think I mentioned that already once. Those are the kind of things you'd put towards the bottom of your blog. Like I said at the top, you're just going to introduce what the blog is about and explain it. Okay, once you've done that, okay, once you've done that, of course, you publish it, okay, you're going to publish it. If you want to do a link to your work sample versus copying and pasting the whole chart, you can, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay. in the edit format, okay, you can create or insert a hyperlink with by pushing the link button. You can put the website and of course you can test your link. 
Okay, very simple. No, not hard at all. You would go to your Google Doc and you'd make a copy of the link. You come back here and you'd paste it in. You can also insert pictures. Okay. With this, you can either upload pictures, you could choose from blogs, Picasa, phone, webcams, URLs, whatever you feel that you need to import the pictures from. Remember, this is a published document to the internet, and whatever you put out there will be there forever. So treat this with careful consideration. Okay, Unit 5, about ready to finish talking about it. It should not take you very long. If you've already done your three set questions in Buzz, you can open it up and find out what you submitted as the questions. Okay, if you don't remember, you can go back into your test, click the I, and then look at the questions. So you can actually just copy your questions from here. All right, I think that's enough information today explaining how to do Unit 5 blog. FYI, Unit 6 has already started, and you should have by now done the Google Doc template for Unit 6 where you take the notes. Remember that this chart, this writing process chart, is for you to use as you need. Of course, you're going to use this part of the chart to stay organized with what you have learned. But the rest of it is only needed to be used as you find you need it. Okay, with that being said, and being so late at night and there all, we are going to go ahead and call it good for the night. Unit 4, Unit 5, Unit 6 is coming up. Start keeping notes in here are the supporting details about what you've learned about each of the ideas and your life will be a lot easier when it's due time. Thank you and have a great night.